In this video you will learn how to make a DSG typography logo design in Corel Draw. Select Type Tool. Type DSG. You can change font type from here. If you want to use the same font type, you will find the link down in description. Now change font size to 150. Now press Ctrl plus K to break text apart. Select D and G with holding Shift, change font size to 120. Now select all, remove fill color by left mouse click on the cross mark here. On black color right mouse click to change outline color to black. Press Ctrl plus Q to convert to curves. Now to align letters, we need to create reference lines. So select two point line tool, for the letter D move your mouse along the edge near the middle until snap to this node. Click and hold Ctrl, snap to opposite edge and release click. As you can see a horizontal line has been created. We will do the same thing for the letter G, snap to nod, hold Ctrl, snap to edge. For the letter S also the same thing but with vertical lines at the top and bottom. Now select letter D and this line, click and hold at the center of the line and move until snap to the center of top vertical line here. Now in the same way, select the letter G, but snap to the center of bottom line. Now select all these lines, and delete. Now select all, press Ctrl plus G to group. Select Smart Fill. Change color to red. Now when I click here. Smart Fill create a separate object where objects overlap. Select Smart Fill again. Click over all the areas you want to show at the top. Leave a gap where you want to show other letters. Now select Pick Tool. Drag a marquee from outside to select all new objects. Weld all together. Now it has become a single object. Select Virtual Segment Delete. Delete these lines here. And here. Select Smart Fill again. Change color set Cyan to 100. Set the rest to zeros. Click on the rest of the area. Select all Cyan and Weld together. Now select all and move to the side. Now I have to create some shadows inside it, so for that, zoom to this portion a little. Select B Spline Tool. Start adding points all over this portion. Double click at the end to create the line, do the same thing here. And here. Also here. Now select all. Change color. Group together. Select B spline tool. Do the same thing for this portion. Also this portion here. Also this portion here. Also this portion here. Now select all. Group together. Change color. Now we have to add shadow. Select drop shadow. Click and drag, you will see a shadow it is here, I will keep it behind it. So now, change opacity to 60, change feathering to 10, change feathering direction to outside. Now right click break drop shadow apart, delete the lines, right click power clip inside, click on the red. Do the same for other lines.
Power clip inside D and G. Now our logo is ready. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions or ideas, drop them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're new here and you enjoy tutorials like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update.